Good morning to you. It is 7.56. The Amarillo Junction is a huge problem spot this morning. Lex Stanfield now on the scene of a multi-vehicle accident on I-40 heading eastbound. This is involving five different cars. Emergency crews are on scene and multiple wreckers are there trying to get these cars off the roadway so people can start moving again. But again, five cars involved in this wreck. You can see how I just counted about four wreckers there um, now getting these cars off the roadway. Let's take a look now at this is all the way back at Northwest Expressway and Lake Hefner Parkway. You can see the backup is extensive and let me tell you that is far away from the Amarillo Junction. I'll show you it now on the map. There's actually two accidents. The first one that I just showed you is right here. There's another just south of the Amarillo Junction on I-44 heading southbound and it looks like it's affecting both the southbound and the northbound lane. So if we zoom out, there's a lot of red on the map. The backup on I-44 heading northbound is all the way back to I-2. 240. This is a typical problem spot for us, so just compounding with um, the accident as well. I-40 heading eastbound is slow all the way back to almost the Kilpatrick this morning. And then I-44 heading southbound is backed up all the way to Lake Hefner Parkway. Lake Hefner Parkway is backed up now to Northwest Expressway as well and even further than that. And so that's affecting many, many people as they head to work this morning. It would be your best bet to take some local roadways instead. There's a couple other areas of congestion, I-240, both in and out out of the I-240, I-35 interchange. We don't typically see that at this time in the morning either. So I'm assuming an accident is there as well. And then in Midwest City, I-40 heading westbound is a little slow as well.